What is going on, on YouTube? Nims23 here. Uh, got something new. I got a um, high speed gear industries battle belt, padded battle belt with their riggers belt with the Cobra buckle with it. And I also have an IFAT kit. I've had the IFAT kit, I just never did get around to doing a video on it. I'm gonna start off with the IFAT kit. Um, I had to di a quick disconnect, just unbuckle this right here and pull this off and you can rip it off it has velcro on the back end of it right there i'm not gonna take it off because it's some, somewhat of a pain to get off and put back on and it has uh some shears uh some uh gloves sanit sanitize uh, gloves we've got uh some tape uh bandages band-aids Neosporin, some um, sterilized uh, bandages, large bandages. And like I said, I'm not done with it yet. Um, still got some quick clot and a couple other things in here before I'm done with this. And uh, now about the belt. I uh, got, got it in multicam. And the rigger's belt is uh, in tan with the cobra head. I think uh, all together... The setup with the oh excuse me, and I have two uh, high speed gear industries double decker taco pouches, which uh, you can hold one mag of eight. You can put either AK mags in it. Uh, they said 308 mags will work in it, M4 mags will work in it, and it also has a pistol mag, uh, 1911 mags, double uh, stacked 9, 40, 45, 357. You name it, will fit in here with these little like bungee cord like stuff right here and it spreads out so it's pretty durable uh also have um i pit it made it my raven concealment light compatible holster for my mp9 on here and to do that i use the i think it's bowitamin has these uh little sections called pups which you can mount uh any kind of knife, holsters, or whatnot you want to put on your belt, on your um, your armor plate carrier that has any kind of webbing, and you just weave it through, and they come with screws and little spacers, so you can put it together. And uh, it's a pretty nice setup. Uh, I think the whole setup, minus this, the IFAT kit, the uh, holster, and the pups. Uh, so it'll just be the belt. Battle belt, the Briggers belt, and the two tacos ran me about 260, 269 around there. And uh, oh, another thing is lifetime warranty on these battle belts too from High Speed Gear Industries, and they're made in North Carolina, my home state. I think it's over there in uh, near Raleigh area. Uh, pretty good group of guys, and I mean this is top notch. This is mill spec webbing right here. I think some of the guy, uh, most of the guys that work for High Speed Gear Industries are ex-military. So, and like I said, it's top-notch uh, gear right here. Uh, inside here has a stiffener. It's like a flexible, like, stiff, I guess it's some kind of polymer-like uh, stiffener that makes the belt a little stiffer. And it also helps you uh, take out the rear's belt, which has a uh, Velcro on the back end, back side of it. And inside of the belt has the um, the sticky the sticky side of the Velcro, so the belt won't slide up and down in the belt in the battle belt. So and so far I'm liking it. I haven't got to test it yet. Um, next time I go shooting outside, I'll probably be wearing it with the um, armor just to see how it feels. But I've I've put everything on. And it's not not bad at all. I'm, I just didn't want all this stuff on my armor, so I'm just putting like uh, spreading out the weight a little bit. I might move uh, where the IFAT kit is. I might not. Just depends. I just got to work with it right now and see uh, where I like it best. But um, got any questions, just uh, hit me up below, and I'll get back to you. Peace.